Hey everyone, I hope that you have been having a great week. Um, believe it or not, Palm Sunday is coming up and is only in a few days and that will be the get, begin our Holy Week. And I am just so excited. Um, in our Lenten study during week five of our Lenten study, we are just celebrating Christ's ministry to the outcasts and the marginalized in the community and how he always went to the unwanted, to those that no one else saw, to those who were oppressed and impoverished in whatever way and loved them. And so this week from The Way, Walking in the Footsteps of Jesus, which is our Lenten study at Hope, but it's also this devotional that I am doing all throughout Lent. Um, it's all about how Jesus befriended and loved sinners, outcasts, and the poor. And so our first week devotion um, for Monday is that Jesus was friends in low places. So I don't know if you have heard that country song, I got friends in low places, well, you know, anyway, but that's, I think where Adam Hamilton is going with that. So our scripture reading is Luke chapter four, verses 18 through 19. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim release to the captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor. This is Adam Hamilton's devotional for the day. Christ's first sermon in his hometown of Nazareth was very short, only eight words. After reading the text for the day from Isaiah 61, quoting the passage that I just read above, he said, Today this scripture is fulfilled in your hearing. Isaiah's words defined Christ's ministry. He was born a king, but he did not look, dress, or act like any other king the Jewish people of Palestine ever knew. Jesus was conceived out of wedlock, born in a stable, and brought up as a son of a handyman in a town that was considered on the other side of the tracks. His father, Joseph, was in fact a carpenter, but in a day when homes were built of stone, a carpenter was in fact a handyman, building things, making tools and furniture, repairing farm implements. And with regard to his hometown of Nazareth, Nathaniel captured it well when he said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? In his ministry, Jesus was most often drawn to the poor, the sick, and the sinners of the time. He had a very special compassion for the nobodies, the ne'er-do-wells, and the socially unacceptable. It was the compassion that captivated my heart and led me as a 14-year-old reading the Gospels for the very first time to want to be a follower of his, to want to be a follower of Christ. The king had friends in low places. He humbled the proud and lifted up the lowly. He reminded us that the truly great must play the part of the servant. He taught that when sitting as a guest at a party, we should take the least important seat. He demonstrated concern for the lost and great compassion for those who were considered lowly. Those who follow Jesus find ways to show compassion, seeing others as Christ sees them, as dearly loved children of God. In the process of building relationships, reaching out with compassion and demonstrating love in tangible ways, we actually become more human, more the people God intended us to be. I think about this man named Jerry, an executive with a large telecom company. Jerry had the idea, the Bible might label it as a vision, of starting a Bible study for men in prison. God kept putting the idea and events in his path that pointed him in that direction and reinforced his idea. So the following year, he stepped out, worked with a nearby prison, and began befriending inmates and mentoring them. Today, the program has grown to include more than 200 church members who are engaged in building relationships and mentoring and discipling men at Lansing Prison and Leavenworth Penitentiary. 
Lives are being changed through this ministry, not just the lives of the inmates, but also the lives of our members who have been blessed by the relationships that they have established with the prisoners. Jesus befriends sinners and taught about a God of second chances. Have you made friends in low places? Are you learning from them and offering them hope? So I love this so much. Um, I just came from our first um, evening session of Montana Gathering Days. It's our district gathering for Montana East and West that's happening in Billings this week. And Bishop Karen preached a very, very powerful message on the importance of breathing in the midst of a world of anxiety and exhaustion and chaos. And one of the things that Bishop Karen was saying is how important it is for us to recognize that the spirit of God is in us. It is our breath that we breathe and the spirit of God is in others. People that we might not see as worthwhile or worth investing in people we might see as a lost cause. And so I think about my ministry and so how some of the more fruitful, effective, beautiful times in my life as a pastor have been ministering to those on the margins of society. The times that I've done prison ministry in Georgetown, Colorado, where I would have to take an elevator shaft, you know, 10 floors down and I was underground baptizing women, singing hymns, giving sermons, doing Bible studies with them. I think about the time that I was a safe house director. I was a house mom for women coming out of sex trafficking who had horrible trauma from all they had endured, usually facing a lot of addictions that had come their way in the midst of sex for sale work. I think about all of the time that I spent overseas with people in such developing countries where $5 would serve them for a month and how all of them taught me so much about Jesus, about what the gospel really is, about how large and diverse and beautiful the table that Christ has set for us really is. And it just is such a holy reminder um, that I want to be where Jesus is. And in the Gospels, we see clearly that Jesus was with those on the outskirts of society. So if we want to find God, maybe we need to look among the lost. So I'm really excited for this week of just these reflections and the subject matter of who Jesus saw as beloved and who he saw as beloved were the people that no one else in society saw as beloved. So may we take a lesson or two from Jesus and find friends in low places.